Hello and welcome to this Solana tutorial video. In this video, we're going to discuss how to create your own SPL token. Having fun with tokens. This video is also my submission for a 1729 task doing DeFi on Solana. In this video, you will learn why you would want to create a token, what tools you need to create a token, how to actually create a token with those tools, how to mint tokens, how to burn tokens, how to limit the supply of the token, and then how to interact with wallets to send and receive the token and interact with smart contracts. We'll also touch on how to rename your token and a little bit on the Serum Dex. You can find the timestamps in the video description in case you're looking for anything specific. But now let me start with some background. I wanted to create my own social money and the biggest platform that does that is Roll. So I requested, hey, can we create a token? But they said, no, your community is too small, we will not mint a token with you. Okay. Then I thought, well, I could do it myself and mint the token, but with the current gas fees on Ethereum, I do not want to afford that. So I tried to do it on Cardano, but there I couldn't get the node to run, so then I gave up on it. Until I received that email from 1729 saying, hey, do some stuff with Solana and you might win something. And I'm like, ooh, creating your own token. I mean, I wanted to do that anyway. And I've heard so many good things about Solana by now that I'm actually pretty interested in that project and I want to learn more about it. So that's what brings us here. Now, there are many reasons why you would want to create your own token. In most cases, people create a token to raise funds, you know, like crowdfunding, just that people now get tokens for the money they provide to the project. And those tokens can then have some kind of utility like governance or a form of revenue sharing or whatever. Since the tokens live on the blockchain, you can build stuff, smart contracts that interact with those tokens. Of course, not every token must have utility. And there are people out there who create tokens just for the sake of pumping and dumping it. I'm not saying that you should do that. I'm just saying that that is something that can be done because everybody can create a token and it's actually super simple. Another use case is, as I mentioned before, some kind of social token where I give that token to people who provide value to the community. I could give out tokens for people that help other people. I could drop some tokens on every live stream. I can think of many scenarios here. And then the people with the tokens can redeem them for a discount or free counseling lessons, or just as a sign that they are a part of the community. Another reason why you would want to create your own token is just to learn about the technology and to figure out how it is done. And that is also one reason why I did this. It's always interesting figuring out how this stuff works. So let's get to it. Right, so we are going to create a Solana token today. I have no idea how that works. But I'm gonna be learning by doing, so let's bring it. So first thing we need is a Rust installa installation. We have that. Cargo is a thing. Yes, I have cargo version 152. Sweet. So what we need to install, I can just copy this, sweet. And it installs this SPL token command line interface. That's the word. <laughs> Yes, CLI is a command line interface. I should know these things. I'm a computer scientist, Lord. Yeah, let's just uh, wait that out. Here we go. That's going so smoothly. Oh, we're done. Sweet. We can run this. Boom. Yes, looks good. So we have SPL token available and we have the following commands. Now, SPL stands for Solana Program Language. And an SPL token is the Solana equivalent of an ERC20 token on Ethereum. Now, before we can create a token, we need to have a wallet. So if I now were to try and create a token, we get the error that we don't have a key pair because we don't have a wallet yet. So we first need to get ourselves a wallet. And for that, we need... Solana to run. Found it. So 
gonna write that down for you. Let's do it then. We install it. If we don't have it, gotta install it. Okay. Unable to create. Oh, I need to restart the current shell. That was the problem. Here we have Solana. Boom! We got, we got it! Oh, I should have typed minus minus version probably. Yeah, okay. We have the Solana CLI. Perfect. We have the SPL token thing. So now we're basically set to go. Let's bring it. You know what? So we need to create a wallet anyway. Let's go back here and create our own wallet with phantom seems like something similar to metamask create a new wallet this is something that i'm not showing you obviously hello phantom we have a wallet now but in order to do any transactions on it we need to fund it so i'm gonna copy the address and send some funds there let's say i withdraw 0 0.1 solana that should be enough boom we have 0 0.1 sol now I'm I'm tempted to say I use a paper wallet and then I put in my words there, right? Because it's not a file system wallet, it's not a hardware wallet. It's also not a paper wallet, but like should I just create a new wallet? I think that's let's just create a new one because I can't be bothered to find out how I work with this otherwise. So we create a new thing and it wants a passphrase okay so i have a public key we have a key pair now if i do that now it says i have insufficient balance because i need 0 0.001 solana and i have none well then let's fund this thing as well now only 0 0.01 because i don't want to send too much money if I don't know if that's actually ever gonna appear and that's just 40 cents so pfft. it is complete so let's try that again boom yes we have some Solana got some money to spend cool now that we have some money to spend let's create our token by just typing SPL token, create token. Boom. Finalizing transaction. And, and, I mean, still faster than Ethereum. <laughs> well, then, we'll see about that. Yay. We have a token, and that is its address. That's the token address, and that's the signature. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, we have we have a token. We have created a token. Now, I mean, we have created a token address. No tokens exist yet, so we gotta create some tokens as well. Mint is the thing to actually create some. But before we can mint, we need an account. What is an account? Well, an account is that thing that stores the tokens. So we got to say create account for that token. You need to do that once for your wallet. Create account. Yes, that's also an operation on the blockchain, which means it also costs us money. So if we check our balance again, that deduced some, see? We already spent quite a lot of our 40 cents, right? But we're still good. Now we have an account. Now we can mint some token. How does mint work? It needs the token address and it needs the token amount. And then it needs the recipient token account address. Okay, that's all things we have. So let's try. We say SPL token mint. Then we need the token ID. Then we need how many tokens. Let's put a random number there. <laughs> okay, so that's the account address for this. And boom. Seems good. Seems good. 
finalizing transaction. Nice. Let's check our balance again. That that basically cost us nothing. 0 0.00005 so nothing. Well, that's cool. We have some tokens now. Let's check if we actually have them tokens. Balance here. Couldn't find token account. Maybe you need the token address here. Yeah, you need the token address. Okay. Not the account balance. You need the token address. I mean, if I would have typed then I would have seen that you need the token address, but I didn't. I just tried it. But hey, here we go. We have 1,729 tokens. That's already quite cool. We have some tokens. But I'm pretty sure that you're not going to be happy with that yet, because nothing's going to stop you from minting some more tokens. Let's say I want another... 36,000 of those. Boom. Minting some more. There we go. We now have even more tokens. And again, it cost us 0 0.000005 soul. See, I can basically just create tokens for free now, right? Maybe we don't want that. Maybe I want to restrict the token creation to limit the supply. How do we do that? Because at the moment, the supply is 37,729. This is a future minting. There we go. Okay, let's see. What does SPL token authorize do? So it needs token address, authority type, authority address, new authority type. Okay, so basically I transfer my authority to disable that's how we do it the token address mint disable new mint authority disabled <laughs> let's see my accounts again let's see the supply again is there a token info or something you know let's just try it Let's just try and get myself some more tokens. Let's just mint one billion tokens. Simulation failed. Processing instruction zero. Custom program error. Five log messages. Well, see, looks like I cannot do it anymore. I lost my privileges. Let's see if I can still burn stuff. This is the opposite of minting, and it needs token account address and an amount. I can provide you with that. Okay, so my account, and you burn a few tokens. Burn it! <laughs> I like to burn stuff. Okay, cool. Cool, that, that seems to have worked. Checking, yep, my balance went down. <laughs> and the supply of that token also went down. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is fun. And uh, my balance on my account also went down, but not significant. We still, still have some. Still have some. Token generation was the most expensive part of all of this. The rest was basically free. Okay, cool. So we have tokens. On that account now. What do we do with them? So obviously one thing that I want to be able to do with my tokens is send them around, right? So let's see if I can send those tokens to another address. Let's see. This can't be so hard. Uh, transfer. Uh, that looks good. Transfer. What do you need? So we have token address, token amount, recipient address or recipient token address. Okay, so I can have a token address that he already created or I put in his public key and then I probably also want to say fund recipient because then 
I basically pay that he can create the token account. Does that make sense? Token address and the amount, I don't know. Let's be generous and send like 2000. <laughs> Let's go to our wallet that we created here. Copy that address, boom, that address. And we want to say fund recipient. Boom. Whoa. Recipient associated token account. So it created a token account for him. Funding recipient. Oh, that also costs quite a lot. Yeah, actually creating an associated token account is also quite expensive. Still cheap, but comparatively expensive. Creating an account plus the minting of the token. Uh, not the minting, the creation of the token. Those were the expensive things. So we burned half of our money, <laughs> but it was just 40 cents. So 20 cents, come on, 20 cents, that's okay. That seems to have worked. Let's check if it actually did. <laughs> Unknown token here. Can you see that? Put it here, then you can definitely see it. We have our 0 0.1 Solana that we funded earlier, and we have 2,000 of unknown tokens. So, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. We received, we can check it out on the Solana Explorer. A transaction is pretty cheap on Solana. 0 0.000005, you know? It's pretty, pretty freaking cheap. That's how you create a token. That's what we wanted to find out. So now we know. Pretty cool. We have our own token. So if you want to make an NFT, basically you create a token with a supply of one and then you disable minting. I'm not sure if you can transfer parts of a token. Actually, let's try that. Can I transfer, I don't know, 0 0.42 for instance. Seems to work. I don't know how many digits down I can go. Yep, now I have 2000.42. I really want to know how, what, what is the limit there though? Zero, 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 zero. It's still going through. <laughs> I mean, and it's there already. What's my balance? I think that's the, that's the most, well, I can try even more. Let's go too far. Zero, 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 zero. Transfer zero tokens. <laughs> yeah, we made a transfer of zero tokens. Because I think... <laughs> sure, why not? Why not? I, I th Yeah, now it, now it actually says zero. Here it still said zero, 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 42. So yeah, that's a little bit... A few too many zeros, if you know what I mean. Change zero, zero. I literally sent zero in this transaction. I don't know if you can limit the amount of decimal points of a token, because theoretically, if you have a non-fungible token and you send it with one, you still have the decimal points. Still not non-fungible, right? But that's how the documentation says you should implement non-fungible tokens. So we can send the token, we can burn the token, but admittedly, it does not look good that it says unknown token here, right? It would be so cool if we can get our own custom name. And I think we can. We just need to make a pull request somewhere. Go here on github.com Solana Labs token list. And here, adding a new token, submit a pull request which changes to tokenlist.json let's just have a look what it looks like source tokens solana token list the solana token list ah there we go chain id don't ask me what the chain id is then the address that's probably the token address the symbol that's what i want to chain the name decimals i mean here you can theoretically limit the decimals but i already messed around with that a bit <laughs> logo url git add loop logo git commit git push <laughs> okay that's that path and with you i can say let's try that 
Wow, I can't believe this works! Pretty cool. Okay, let's just try. First of all, gotta get to the code. We clone this. Boom. Then we go there. So, tokens, token list chasing. So, and somewhere here at the end, we're gonna put our stuff. There we go. That's what we added. We save that. Then we git commit. So, let's learn how we can make a pull request. Able to merge. Branches can be automatically merged. We have this that we put in. We have my token address. We call it loop. It's my social token. And I have a logo for it. And I'm gonna say create pull request. You know, we're just gonna try it. The, the worst thing that then can happen is that they say no. And I lose my reputation. But pff, as if I have reputation on GitHub. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, the pull request was not approved yet, and I have a deadline for this video, so I cannot show you what the result is just yet. But once I know, I will make a video that you can check out once it's there. That's probably going to take another while. Let's think what else we can do with it. One idea is to provide liquidity to the Serum Dex. Here on Serum, they have those nice order books on chain and if i'm well informed then i can add my own market here so basically all we need to do is just pump in our token address here it is valid the quote token is the token used to price trades okay so that's the second token for so for the pair my token and then BTC, ETH, Solana, whatever. We can do USDT or we can do Bitcoin or we can do FTT. I want to price it against Solana. Boom, because it has a nice address as well. Just for fun, because, because I can. Because, I mean, we are on Solana. Why not price it against Solana? Minimum order size for my tokens, the minimum... I can buy sell is one, that's fine, and the tick size 0 0.01 also seems fine. So let's connect a wallet. We actually need to do that. Connect. Okay. We still have 0 0.1 Solana on here and 2000 of our token. Okay. So we submit this now that we have connected the wallet. And once again, we get to sign to approve this. I'll just say approve. And we send the transaction. And error listing new market system program error one. Well, I do not know what that is about. The transaction that did not work. Error. Insufficient lamports. Ooh, I don't have enough money. Interesting. So creating a market on Serum is expensive. But I guess I have an education budget for that, right? Creating a market can cost up to 10 to 15 sol. Oh, but at what? But at current prices, that's three times $40. I think that's too expensive for me. But that's theoretically how you do it. Unfortunately, we're not going to demonstrate it because I'm a poor student. Do let me know if you want me to make a video about that, though. Maybe I will do it if I win the challenge so I have the funds for it. Or if somebody happens to donate 10 sol to my address. I should have done that, you know, back when. You know, there, there I could have done it. Besides, nobody will trade on that anyway. And I don't want people to trade that token. It's supposed to be a social token that does not have any value. So you shouldn't be able to trade it for a soul. I was just playing around with it because I found the idea 
interesting of adding it here to the serum decks, but not if it's that expensive. That's the video. I hope this was helpful. Do let me know in the comments if there was something that you did not quite understand, and I'll try to help you out with it. Let me know if I should make more videos in that style and about those topics, and if so, what exactly do you want to learn next? In any case, enjoy creating your own tokens, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.